He doesn't even know what he knows. He claims he's from the 31st century. I'm Jessica. Everyone knows Limelight. The Fatal Five are coming! Hi, this is Mark Morell from Toon Barn. We're here at WonderCon 2019. We're talking about Justice League versus the Fatal Five, and I have Miss Martian herself, Daniela Bobadilla. Yes. Hi, hi. How are you doing? I am so excited. This is my first WonderCon, so I, yeah, I could not be more excited. Okay, so of all the powers that Miss Martian has, which one would you like to have? My gosh. Okay, this is my favorite question. She has both of my dream ones. Like, you know when people ask you what your superpower is? So she can shapeshift and turn into anything she wants and go invisible. So I don't know. Or she can read people's minds and literally go in their mind. So she can sift through their memories. So that one's a little dangerous. I think I'm going to choose shapeshifting. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people say invisibility is usually a creepy thing or reading minds is a creepy thing. I don't know if I want to know what people think of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Like, yeah. All right. So you're also now playing Mist on Young Justice Outsiders, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, uh, which character is more difficult to portray, Miss Martian or Mist? Interesting. They're very different because Mist is still coming into her own. Mm-hmm. She's still very shy and she gets scared and she actually apologizes when she's beating someone up. Right. Whereas Miss Martian, I think she enjoys it maybe a little bit too much. Yeah. So. I think they both had their challenges in that I have to stay in that mode and not go into others. Um, but yeah, I don't think one's more difficult than the other. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, by the way, happy early birthday. And we know your birthday is coming up. Ah, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, who are the key characters that Miss Martian mixes with in this film? I, I saw you mixing with Batman a few times. Yes. Yeah, so he's my teacher. I'm essentially learning under him. I'm under his wing, um, which I love saying. Uh, but yeah, with, the, with Superman with Batman, with Wonder Woman, like, you can't get more epic than that. Right. Yeah, and Starboy, and I do talk to Limelight a little bit. Oh. I wish a little more, so yeah, just the Justice League, that's who I deal with. All right, cool. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us on WonderCon at, I mean, thank you for joining us on Toon Barn at WonderCon, <laughs> and we look forward to seeing the movie. Thank you. So much. Thank you. All right. So good and so much fun. And then they played back what Kevin did for me and I was laughing so hard. I think I flubbed a few takes, maybe. Um, But yeah, it was just so much fun. And it's, again, it's somebody that has to stand up for their own and pretend that you're okay. You know, I'm I'm, I'm one of the team and and I can do this, promise. And then you have your moment that you're like, oh, okay, I'm here. I'm having that moment right now. Uh, So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thank you. I also really enjoyed that they're used to being epic heroes um, and she finds them really cool so it's a little reminder that they're really cool whether they're used to being as epic as they are or not it's really cool so I like yeah I think that brought a little bit of lightness to that too All right. here's something I meant to give you back at the studio you're welcome I told you to wait in the car It's hot in the car. I heard you were grabby. Uh, 